Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Sunday, December 7th, around 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. A strong G3 geomagnetic storm watch has been issued for Tuesday, December 9th, and that's care of this X flare or this M8 flare that is directly headed for Earth. Buckle up and keep calm. It's boom time. A strong atmospheric river approaches for Monday. Flooding is expected in the Pacific Northwest from Eugene, Oregon, where 3.6 inches of precipitation is expected. Take a look at Florence, over five inches there. Over seven inches for Newport is forecast and 7.3 inches forecast for Vancouver. And that is just through Tuesday, which up appears to be their lose day. Persistent weekend storm bringing heavy snow and disrupting flights across the U.S. A fast-moving winter storm was dis disrupting travel and prompting ground stops at major airports, including O'Hare and Atlanta. And that snow is going to be moving east. Central North Carolina could see snow Monday with cold temperatures and a black ice risk. And that cold front will send temperatures plunging across Texas tonight. With dangerous cold chills and teens forecast for Monday in New Jersey. And that is the plume of cold air. This was this morning, minus 14 in North Dakota there. And then by tomorrow morning, it should moderate. And that cold will move east Tuesday. And here is Wednesday, Thursday. And the real cold comes at the end of the week here. See that? Minus 30 degree plume up there. That is going to push into the U.S., by mid-December and bring the freeze line all the way down to the Gulf Coast here. Take a look at that. Could even be an iguana apocalypse. We'll see. A look over at tornadohq.com live. Severe weather map shows just one warning, a severe, a special marine warning in the Gulf here in central, west central Florida. We've got lake effect snow and a clipper here moving through New England. And a line of showers from North Dakota down into Nebraska. And you can see that precipitation from the last atmospheric river and another one arriving tomorrow. And now the full forecast. A prolonged atmospheric river will impact the Northwest early this week. A weather system in the Pacific Northwest will produce rain through the day before a potent atmospheric river produces a prolonged round of heavy rainfall, widespread urban and river flooding, and high elevation snow to the region. Monday through Wednesday, this event will occur. Showers and thunderstorms may produce isolated damaging winds, a brief tornado, and locally heavy rainfall across parts of Florida today as well. There you can see that next atmospheric river coming in here. Uh, here's the one that's happening now. Those are the showers in Florida, and that's the lake effect snow. We can move it through your Monday. And by Tuesday, that's when the heavy rain is going to be happening here. As that system moves east and brings more snow across the northern plains and into the northeast midweek. Thursday, another system moves across the plains. Here is the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Pretty quiet pattern. It's going to be cold through mid-December. And it looks like the Pacific Northwest is the big winner here. What do I mean? Well, that's where most of the snow is going to be falling. Epic amounts in British Columbia, the Washington State. And the Northern Rockies doing well, but not the Southern Rockies. And New England's looking good as well. But look at these totals up here. Holy mackerel. Ooh, big aftershock. 5.1 just occurred in Yucatan, Alaska. It's associated with that Yukon 7 magnitude yesterday. Slight uptick on the ring of fire here, but nothing significant. Good news there. Worldwide Volcano News for the 7th of December. Fuego, ongoing volcanic ash, Kilauea. Well, that's over, but earlier in the day, the ash was to 16,000 feet. So go to Gmon. That was 8,000 foot earlier today. Purache, volcanic ash ongoing. Ongoing ash at Reventador to 14,000 foot. Aoba to 10,000. 
Shivalush to 12,000, Ibu to 6,000, Popo to 20,000 feet, Sokodichima, 7,000 foot blast there, Fuego to 14,000, Semadu to 15,000, Aoba to 12,000, Volcanic ash dissipating at Purace, Ibu to 6,000 feet. Volcanic ash observed to 14,000 feet at Raventador. Fuego to 14,000 feet as well. Popo to 20,000, wrapping up the list. Whew. Northern Lights forecast for 15 states tonight, and that is due to an earlier CME headed our way, not the one that will bring strong G3 geomagnetic storming. Uh, that was due to this M8 flare that happened 24 hours ago with the CME directly headed towards Earth. Three-day geomagnetic forecast showing G1 for tonight, G1 for tomorrow, and strong G3 for Tuesday. That will be the best chance for low-latitude aurora. And there's that modeled M flare headed right for us. Boom! It's going to hit on an instant if that model is correct. So this is tonight's aurora forecast. The G3 aurora forecast will bring this red line much further south. And we'll be showing you that tomorrow. A quick look at telemetry. When, e when the supposed first CME arrives, we're going to see a jump in the purple um, in density and speed and phi angle and BZ all at the same time, maybe even temperature. So that's one way you can see if the CME is coming and a solar storm is imminent. What's imminent is, well, at some point, fiat currency is going to fizzle and precious metals are going to be king. Or maybe there's a solar flare and we don't have money anymore or ways to access it. It's always good to keep a, some type of tradable goods that you could barter with in a time of need. Silver is at an all-time high. It went to $59.33, I think, before it closed on Friday. And now it is smoking once again at 58.50, up a little bit today. Hedge your bets. Convert some of your IRAs or 401ks into precious metals with the industry leader Gold Co. Go to Diamond Loves Gold. Do it now and re request your free 2025 gold and silver kit. There's no obligation. There's also no penalties from shifting from a 401k that's fiat or that's stocks into precious metals. It's amazing, and it's simple with Gold Co. From precious metal IRAs to direct purchases of gold and silver, they've helped thousands of Americans diversify and protect their retirement savings every day. Trust, they're on Trustpilot, rated A-plus by the Better Business Bureau, rated triple A by Business Consumer Alliance, with over 6,000 five-star customer ratings. 2024 Best Customer Service and the INC 5000 Award recipient six years in a, in a row. You can trust Gold Co. And that is a boom. To knowledge, hit the thumbs up, share the video. The most important thing you can do tonight is subscribe to the channel and help our channel grow. We love each and every one of you. Be safe and keep your eye to the sky for the aurora. Yeah.